Hi all folks, this is Max from G2Hacks.com. So I've got the um, review of the um, Virtuous Vir Virtuous Quattro Beta 1 Ice Cream Sandwich ROM for um, G2 phone. Um, this is probably one of the better ICS ROMs out now. Um, the only thing broken is the camera. Um, other than that, it's actually very zippy, um, much zippier than on my Evo. 4G and also my Nexus S and also this comes with a kernel that you let you overclock to up to 1.8 gigahertz which I have it fully um, at 1.8 gigahertz um, you can see 4.0.3 quattro beta um, let me show you that I'm overclocked to 1.8 gigahertz one of the coolest parts about the G2 phone is that it can be overclocked I mean this thing is one it's clocked at stock clock is 800 um, megahertz got it <laughs> over twice more at performance um, let's do a quadrant test real quick see what we get um, so this is a really good OG phone that's um, that didn't really take off because um, I don't know why but just it, it's a really great phone I think in my mind because it's you know it makes it makes use of um, I don't know it's, it's the overclockability. You can't beat this phone as far as percentage wise. Um, this is a full ice cream sandwich ROM. Um, most things are working. Um, everything except for pretty much camera is very zippy. Um, I've been trying. You know, I've been trying out a lot of a lot of uh, um, ICS ROMs, and I have the Galaxy Nexus to um, benchmark against and this one goes right up there with the uh, the Evo 3D um, the Galaxy Nexus and the uh, all the other ones I've tried so look at that 2158 that's you know on quadrant with ICS that's way better than Galaxy Nexus stock um, of course if you do N22 you're probably gonna get a lot lower scores than the Galaxy Nexus but it's very usable there's no lag um, that I can see whatsoever Oh, there's lag there. Um, actually, it's very usable. Let's go check out um, Google News real quick. See if there's any lag. With my Nexus S, I see a lot of lag. Um, that's also due to I didn't have it overclocked enough, and you know I, I wish there was a ROM that would let me overclock it more. Uh oh, Did we do demo fail there. You know what? Maybe I have it overclocked too much. Um, let me tone it down a little bit. Let's do, um, whoops, no, 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 1.6, that should be plenty there, and let's set it an interactive, that's probably what's causing it too, too much. I think it's just hung at automatic Google sign-in. Try that again. But uh, um, I've I've been actually not touching my G2 phone for a while because I was trying to unroot it for one of you guys out there on my YouTube channel. Um, I can't unroot it, so I'm just gonna just start reviewing ROMs again, you know, because <laughs> I can't unroot it. Like for some reason it won't unroot. I've tried everything, and you know, like who would I turn to, like you know, to do this? Um, so actually it's it is a bit laggy there. Yeah demo fail um, but other than that is it's actually a pretty good ROM as far as the UI is that uh, really smooth um, I'll have another more reviews of um, um, G2 ICS ROMs um, but partly also part of my touch screen is broken so sometimes it doesn't register but maybe today it's feeling good anyway that was a quick overview of Virtuous Quattro um, ROM that lets you overclock to 1.8 gigahertz. Um, it's a pretty good ROM. Check it out. Uh, let me know what you think. And I'll have more G2 ROMs coming this week. Alright, see y'all later. Bye-bye.